video, I will show the top 5 things you forgot to do before heading out to the Forbidden West. Number 5 is to play with the tail of Slitherfane, the first boss you meet before heading west. Now if you pick it up, you can shoot these uh, powerful laser-like uh, pulses of electricity. It's pretty fun to play with and it, you probably could have used this against the boss but I just happened to have it after I have defeated the boss. So you can drop it and pick it up like any regular weapon but I was not able to find any ammo so that's basically just playing around with it. Number 4. Open the hidden chest. Right after you defeat the uh, Sitter Fane, you go through a door and uh, you end up going back to the uh, city, the LOA uh, save. And at this city, there's a place where it's very hard to reach chest. And this chest contains some rare uh, braces, bracelets. So you should go back here and pick it up before heading west. Okay, number three. There are some fake soldiers made out of buckets and other wooden pieces. You should shoot your arrows at it and uh, destroy the whole thing. That's one thing that most people probably missed. You can destroy the soldier completely. You need to hit it multiple times with arrows. So when you have completely destroyed it, sometimes it reveals a prize you can pick up or supplies or similar things, but it must be completely destroyed. So in this case, there's nothing there. But uh, if you look uh, nearby, there's also some barrels, three barrels. You can also shoot them. And after shooting this one, notice that there is a supply you can pick up. So do go ahead and shoot everything you see around here and pick up the prizes. Okay, number two. There's a person called Abad. He is like a sun king or uh, someone very, very, very important. And if you notice, there's a kid next to him. Now that kid is not his son. It's the kid of a relative, and that relative uh, went with him here. Uh, the relative is a woman, so that kid and the, and his mother went with Avad to give uh, to present two two gifts to Eloy. The first is a spear, and the second one is a crown. Now these uh, two items, after Aloy uh, Try it on. obtains them, notice that she is a little embarrassed. Uh, she actually has a, just a bit of some feelings for Avad, but she is trying to avoid him because she has a, a big mission ahead of her. She needs to go to the Forbidden West, which is the west coast of the uh, United States, like San Francisco in California so basically uh, after receiving the gifts Come speak to me when uh, she will try to go west but you actually can go back to Avad before actually heading out the mission and actually find him and talk to him now when you do he is standing around and he will uh, answer your questions but when you try to leave he provides a law Alloy with an option to settle down with him. Now, it is important that you choose a correct answer when he says, you know, maybe we can uh, have some, some time together and maybe you can return to Meridian, which is uh, his place. Uh, and maybe we can like get to know each other better. And you should, you should choose the correct uh, dialogue option. When you do, LOA has an, an ability to make babies with them or start a family with them. So you should choose it's a nice thought. That's very important. You should choose that option. Uh, it was just shown earlier. Uh, 
And when you do, they will talk a bit, and you can see that she is, her facial expression, she is a little embarrassed because she's trying to explain to him that she has some very important things to do, like save the world. And, but uh, she is flattered, so you should choose that option, and then so later on, she, she can have the option to come back and have a family with them and make babies with them, etc., etc. So, before heading out to the main mission of Forbidden West, you have to do this missable uh, dialogue option. You should always uh, do this before heading out west. Okay, now after you talk to him, um, if you can you can bump to into him and you can note you will notice that they have some nice physics. If you bump it from one side, he leans to the other side. If you bump it from the front, he leans back. See that? So that was pretty nice. So uh, number one, uh, you can stand on the head of Eloy statue. Now, normally when you jump up, you can about reach the foot of Eloy. But if you were to uh, try to jump even higher, it's a bit difficult. It's possible, but it's very hard because he jumps too quick and the angle attack is, is kind of hard to control. But if you hold the uh, L2 button down, aiming the bow, you can time her uh, jumps easier, she is slower, and also you jump higher. Now this could be used uh, to jump on hard to reach spots like on top of her head. So basically I jumped on top of her head right now. Now one important thing you might have missed is that you can use this um, aiming jump to get out of the map. Now I have another video coming that will show you how to use this technique to get out of the map. But this uh, technique is a very good way to uh, jump on top of Eloy's statue. And so basically another thing you might have missed is you can press the options and go into photo mode. So if you have reached some area that you are not supposed to go and you want to pose, you can use that option to take a picture. So please give video a like and we'll see you next time.